Could I say no? Right, great. See you at Joss's then. Sounds preem. Hey, hey! You see that? That thing right over there. Fuck you smoking, Chum. I didn't see no. Yeah, you didn't, but I did. It was like kinda glitch. Just for a split second. It was. Flies to dark, like I stared at the sun for too long. Just that I'm truly floored by your dedication. You didn't kill a single cyber psycho. I know how much easier and simpler it can be to take a life rather than save one. Really, V, nice work. Some of the cyber psychotic have started therapy. Even if they can't be saved, at least maybe we'll learn more about the disease. Because I refuse to believe it's just some kind of cyberware overload. Who knows? Maybe I'll learn enough to write a piece on it. But anyway, the reward is yours. Thanks. About cyberpsychosis? Not really, but thanks again for the help, V.
think it was here. This won't take long. How's it going? Over here! Not coming? Not really my jam, picnics. But you have fun. Spinning a new song, anyway. Rather focus on that. Mmm. 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 Glad you're here. I need your help cooking. What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. You can stir the meat? Um, soy meat? Okay. Dunno. Maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. This an ancient ward family secret? Uh-huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. Just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. <laughs> I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Bet my socks you've never had better jambalaya. How's, uh, Randy holding up? He's looking for his old self. Physically, though, it'll be a long road before he's back to full health. And, uh, mentally? That was some experience. What Harris did to him. Fucked as this might sound, might have helped the kid. Could be wrong, but feels like a clean break for him. Honestly, I thought you were kidding about the cook-off. Where the Joss had sweat away in the kitchen while... How? Joss doesn't know the first thing about cooking. Actually, I like to torture foodstuffs. <laughs> Haven't had many opportunities lately. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but I gotta ask, what about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? Sure. No pressure. It's just I, uh, you know. I know. All right. Think you've stirred enough? Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help her. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. That's exactly what I told him. But he always got the same speech back. Nobody cares about these kids who don't exactly fit the mold. How you doing, Joss? I'll call you back later. Really nice of you to come. Uh, thanks for having me over. I should be thanking you. Looking good, Joss. Really think so? Thanks. How's Randy? Still in the hospital. Still in shock. But he's making progress. I haven't had a chance to tell you just how grateful I am. What matters is it's over now. I just don't know how to repay you. If Randy uh, had... Don't owe me a thing, Joss. Thank you. Merva's in the backyard. He couldn't wait to see you again. As Maddie, nice. Tomatoes in next. 
Now you can toss in the rice. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio? Grab a chair. And a beer or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah. Seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now about Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital. He's still in a coma? Yep. In a strange slumber between life and death. An empty shell in a hospital bed. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River? Oh, my parents died. Oh, I'm sure you want to hear this. What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well... My parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. A loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. River, you don't gotta go on. Heard sob stories enough? No, just... This is tough, I can tell. You really don't need to rehash it now. Okay, yeah. You're probably right. Just... Harris. What did you do? Had the gun to his head, and... I've ended a few lives in my time. But never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick told myself the case was closed. That's good. But what now? You're not going back to the PD. P.I. has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle we'll River, you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. Me? Join us? What are we gonna play, Uncle River? You'll see. wanted to try a game like this. Well, well. Nice firepower there. This is no time to get distracted. We can't let that filth get away. Who? Oh, well, look at you. V, allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. They're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in their way. I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. Yeah, me too. Ooh, I've heard of cops like you. The lone wolf type. That's right. Thorns in their commander's side. Rebels who play by their own rules. I've been suspended one time, retired two times, and kicked off the force three times. I'm getting too old for this. But something always drags you back. The city needs me. All right, let's get to it. Right. All we gotta do is track down El Chamuco in Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We'll play like two teams, us and the kids. 
but we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. You don't stand a chance. AV, just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. Oh, there he is! Get him! The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> He's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. Watch out! It's Cronies! He's it! He's it! Not half bad. <laughs> Next round, next round! This way. It must be their rat-infested hideouts. I could smell the moral decay from a mile off. <sighs> quiet. Too quiet. It's a trap! They were waiting for us! <laughs> Too slow! Too many donuts! Not done yet! Lunch is ready. Mm, but Mom, you almost had him. Oh, you'll get him next time. At least we beat the grown-ups. We're the best. Thanks for letting him win. They had fun. Ah, they're great kids. It's no problem. Seems they took a liking to you, too. Hey, food's on the table. So, was your game fun? Awesome! <laughs> we kicked their big butts! The bad guys? Huh? Oh, yeah, the bad guys, too! Time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this... untroubled in a while. What about you, V? You got a family? Or just relations?
If the future allows it, uh, I'd like to have one someday. If for no other reason than that I love get-togethers like this. Nothing's more important to me than my kids. I've made mistakes. Life's gone off the rails sometimes. But I had my kids. I got my kids. Speaking of, it'd be great if Randy was here. Won't be long. Randy loves Jambalaya. Joss, you see me being a parent ever? I mean, I don't exactly look like good palm material myself, so... Yes! Who says yes? I do. <laughs> he raised his hand himself! <laughs> v, are you seeing someone? Involved? Fess up, please. Um... Well, that's decided. Got an 1199. Officer needs backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Whew. Situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. Here we are. What are we looking at? A water tower. Great spot. Great for what? Having a drink? Shooting the shit. This way I... Oh, fuck. Gate's stuck again. Gonna fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. Yeah. Okay. Good. Just put... Ugh. Okay. On our way. Area's not bad, actually. Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Randy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. Apparently the worst city between the Atlantic and the Pacific. But I sure do love this view. Find it calming. Views to die for. Great spot indeed. Told you. Got something for you. What's the occasion? Aiming to close the door. A stage of my life is done. This thing holds too many memories. Won't let me do that. It'll serve you better. Thank you. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. In this very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. Now for the highlight of the evening. Up for a drink? Something strong's sure to hit the spot. Now that I understand.
to friendship. To friendship. You got any more of that? Two bottles of whiskey and a case of beer ought to be enough. <laughs> we'll see about that. Buckle your liver in. Gonna be a long night and a longer morning. <laughs> of the moon and there's still no cure for hangovers well at least we had fun yesterday yeah oh, but now i gotta roll promised joss i'd take her to see randy no rush either get your sea legs back take as much time as you need apologize to joss for me we kind of dined and dashed yesterday and left puke all over the bathroom Oh shit. You sure you're good to drive? <laughs> Please. Former NCPD, <clears throat> I'm a pro on Hangover Highway. I'll be fine. Tell Randy, hey. Will do. See you later, V. I hope. The generator? You remember, right? Oh. Fuck. Need me to fix it now? Yeah, now. Then we go to the hospital. I'd rather have everything ready for when Randy gets back. What's up with the generator? I don't know, but electricity's out. And then his room needs tidying. I'm supposed to do that? I know how it sounds, but this one, please. <sighs>
Excuse me? Oh, my bad. Kind of spaced out. Welcome to the Dew Drop Inn, where every day begins with a smile. Was supposed to meet someone here. Name's Booker Updike. Okay. Well, is he here? Oh, I don't know. I'm just filling in for my tomb BFF. She's under the knife today. Chill place you got here. Quiet. Calm. Think so? Probably owe all that to 6th Street. Anyone tries to harass our guests, they keep them out good. Oh, shit. You ain't with the cops, are you? More the opposite. <gasps> Phew. Good. I ain't supposed to talk to cops. Anything available short notice? Uh, one sec. Uh, checking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Got one on the ground floor. That okay? Hmm. Have to think on it. Mm, sure, sure. Need anything? I'm here. Here. Nah, just fucking taking in the sights. Asked you nicely. Should I ask another way? All right, all right. No need getting worked up. Yeah, I work maintenance. Plumber, electrician, whatever. Looking for a friend. Booker Updike. Wait a sec. That, uh, he a tall white guy? Kind of keeps to himself, yeah? Could be. Haven't seen each other in a while. What makes you say that? Well, he's been locked up in his room. Don't ever come out. Not even for coffee in the AM. But hey, customer is king, right? He wants peace and quiet. We give it to him. No questions. Right. Okay, see ya. Not a looker. 
Might even be worse than your place. Uh huh. Gonna puke? Smell that, right? The ventilation. Hmm. Vapors from the room upstairs. Wait, wait, is that... Ah, oh, neoamphetamine. <laughs> mean to tell me you can pin the exact drug from just a whiff? <laughs> like a police dog or what? I'd say more like a... a sommelier. Suffocated, looks like. Probably in his sleep. A peaceful death at this town? Guy won the jackpot. Time to look upstairs. Got a feeling our Ripper's supplies up there. Somewhere close to a vent. Get out.